Hi, my name is Malcolm and I'm a PSLE Science Specialist here at The Big Lab. Welcome to another episode of PSLE Science Made Simple. In this video, I'll be analyzing a past year examination question on the topic of matter. I will also include this question to download for free by clicking a link in the description box below. So, let's get started. Question 5. Grace push a balloon into a plastic bottle and stretch the balloon's mouthpiece over the opening of the bottle. Then she blew into the bottle, but the balloon could only inflate slightly as shown in the diagram below. So let's try and understand what is happening. Isn't the plastic bottle empty? Why is it that the balloon cannot inflate fully? This means that even though the bottle appears empty, but there must be something blocking or stopping the balloon from inflating fully. Now what do you think is present inside this plastic bottle? We all know that there must be air. There is inside the bottle. And air, we all know, is a form of matter. We know that matter occupies what? Matter occupies space in the bottle. So let's write this down. We know that the air occupies space in the bottle. But then, why can't the balloon just inflate and push the air out? Look at this plastic bottle. Is there any way for air to escape from the bottle? No. So we know that the air not only occupies space in the bottle, but it also cannot escape. And because of that, is there space for the balloon to inflate fully? Definitely not. Now let's continue reading on. Which of the following actions would allow the balloon to inflate more fully in the bottle? So think about it. If you want the balloon to inflate more fully, that means inside the bottle, must there be more space or less space? There must be more space available. So let's write this down. We want to have more space in the plastic bottle. Because in that way, then the balloon is able to inflate more fully. So let's take a look at the options. Option one, they say use a smaller bottle. Now think about it. When you have a smaller bottle, is there going to be more space or less space? There's going to be less space in the bottle. So we can write this down. There is less space for the balloon to inflate. So because of that, is option one possible? No, we can cross out option one. Next one, they say to add water in the bottle. Now think about it. As you pour water into the bottle, is there going to be more space or less space for the balloon to inflate? There is going to be less space for the balloon to inflate. So because of that, can we choose option two as the answer? Also no. Next, let's take a look at option three. They said to make a hole in the balloon. Now I know what some of you are thinking. The moment you see the word make a hole, you will think, yes, the air can escape from the bottle, which means there is more space. So option three is your answer. But look carefully. Where did they make the hole in? It is actually inside the balloon. Now think about it. When there's a hole in the balloon, can the balloon even inflate in the first place? No. So let's write this down. The balloon cannot inflate. So option three, definitely wrong. Lastly, option four. They said make a hole, but this time in where? Inside the plastic bottle. Now when there is a hole inside the plastic bottle, what do you think happens to the air? When you try and blow the balloon, the balloon is going to occupy more space in the bottle. And when the balloon occupies more space in the bottle, what will happen to the air? The balloon pushes the air out and this allows the air to escape. So because of that, is there going to be more space or less space left in the plastic bottle? There is going to be more space, which means the correct answer should be option four. Thank you for watching. I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you found this video useful, do give us a thumbs up. If you'd like to check out more videos by us, do click on the links on the right hand side. Last but not least, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more interesting videos. Thank you and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!